All right, in this video we're going to talk about scripting data and schema. Uh, if you're not familiar with the terminology, the schema are just the objects in the database. So if you script out a table structure and you run it somewhere, then you script out the schema. If you script out the data inside it, then you script out the data. That one's pretty straightforward, huh? All right, so let's take a look at uh, about the AdventureWorks LT 2008 R2. All right, so we can right-click on it. We go to our, our tasks and we go down here to generate scripts. All right. Now this has a, a, another important component: this uh, generate and publish scripts wizard. As we move to learning in the Azure, we move things to the cloud. There, uh, there is a way in here. Well, let's take a look. Take a look. So, in this, on this screen, it tells us, you know, what are we going to script out? All right, objects. Uh, we can select here to choose the objects to be very specific, very granular on what we want, or we just tell it, "Give me everything." So let's give me everything. So here we want to specify things about the script, right? You know, where are we going to save it to? Where is it going? Is it going to a query window? In our case, yes. Or is it going to a file somewhere, a repository? All right. Now let's take a look at this. There, here's really the key in this whole this whole publish. Uh, scripts wizard here he is that's the key now let's make him a little bigger and if you can see now we won't get into it now because this isn't about Azure but Azure is very important and uh, this when we script our objects and schema is something that uh, it's almost uh, a must uh, now there are other ways to do it but this is a good way to do it uh, so here if we look at script for the database engine type, right? So here we have standalone instance, but what if we click Azure, all right? SQL Azure. And look, some other things are, are turned off, all right? So uh, the uh, the use statement, why would the use statement be turned off? Well, in, in SQL Azure, it's not supported. And some other things we'll talk about in uh, later videos on Azure. But right now, we're just scripting out to a standalone instance, all right? We're scripting data and schema. So let's go to the advanced button and tell it that. Let's open this up again, pull him down so, so we can see. So on the very bottom here it says types of data to script, schema only, data only, schema and data. So we're going to script out the whole thing, right? We want to script out everything. Next, next, and there we go. And I guess I, I was pretty sure I said save this to Maybe I didn't. I said save it to file. So it also saves it to the file when it ran right here to the script SQL in this location. Again, you can choose where you want it to save. I want it to save to a new query window. Right? So let's make sure that it didn't change my settings, schema and data. No, it did not. Let's run it again. Oh. Yeah, when you hit finish, it finishes it. <laughs> Just, just so you don't want to hit finish until it's done. All right, so let's do this again. So let's generate scripts. Let's move through. It's all objects, right? And we're going to go to new query window, right? We want to head on advanced. We want to move down to schema and data. Come on now. That's it. We want to say OK. We want to go next. We want to hit next. And it's doing it. We don't want to hit finish. There we go. Now we have it over here in our window where it's scripted. Schema, right? That's this. Uh, so here, schema. How can we tell? It says create table. Create table error log is a schema. And here, down below that, what do we have? It's generated all the inserts. Now, uh, that's great. Thanks for the update message. It also generates our uh, the data. And there it is. All right. So now we should be able to create a shell over here. Let's try it. New database. How about a VentureWorks 2008? <clears throat> All right, we created our shell. Now it it's telling us that we're going to uh, we don't want to hit this, right? Uh, so if we because we just created a shell. We don't want it to create the shell. We want it to create the schema. So here we go. It says here object schema. So here we can see uh, we want all this out. So we just go back, delete that. Now it should should if we move it to here right to our new shell adventure works 
ADV 2008. It should just run all this and create an exact replica of um, this long ass one here. And now let's refresh it just in case. Let's look. We've got our tables. If we right click on it, let's take a look. Type in too fast. Enough that where is that damn? Come on. And there we go. Now, if you're saying, why in the hell did this thing you do a backup and restore? Or, you know, yeah, yeah absolutely you can do that. Um, because I'm one of these, this is one of those videos preparing you for Azure. This is just one of the another things in your toolkit. And you can't do a backup and restore to Azure. All right? You can't even back up a database in the cloud. All right. So, um, more tools to the toolkit type thing. All right. And we just created schema and data for our new pretty cool stuff, huh? All right. That's it for this video.